His brother is drunk, stoned, and he's like, yeah, sure, let's do it. And then he falls to, he has the Bibles in, in his hands, falls to his knees. And the guy that was in the sauna thought his brother just passed out. And he's like, great. <laughs> now I got like a passed out stone brother or whatever. Yeah. But he fell to his knees actually, pointed to a part of the Bible, which was this verse right here. Like, Hong oh, Kong, dude, we have the same exact Tacoma, Tacoma gang or something like that. I'm like, what in the world is wrong with this guy? And they're all like holding brewskis, like a bunch of beers in their hand. And they're like, yo, since we have the same card, you guys want to take these beers off of us? We're going down the mountain. And I just stayed quiet. I'm like, I'm not going to drink. Like, I don't need this. Plus, I'm driving and stuff. I'm not yeah. a big fan of beers. And my friends like look over at them. They're like, yeah, of course. They start like chugging them and stuff. I'm like, oh my goodness, these people are funny. And then like we're putting on our clothes. I lean into the car and went to one of my friends. I'm like, I don't think they know we're not 21. And they're like, shut up, lad. <laughs> when you're saying uh, time is different in space rather than than on Earth, do you mean like how far into space? Just like right away where the of Earth's space orbit? station is. The space station That's, is it's different up there. It's different up there. And there was even a story about, like, this whack woman that said that it was, like, maybe in the 70s or 80s. She said that she had, like, a relationship with one of the aliens. He would come down, like, visit her. She would go up with him and, like, go on the adventures and something like that. Smoking too much DMT, probably. But she said that she ended up getting pregnant by this alien guy. That's crazy. And she had a kid with the alien. Did they check his blood? No. Or the, or the, the kid kid's blood? They took the kid, like the alien. Oh, guy. okay. Right, so like that's why yeah, no you can't even trust it. Yeah, the alien guy yeah. took him because he said that he wanted him, the the baby boy or whatever, to experience a life on that planet and like learn their practices and stuff like that. Mm, that's crazy. So she's definitely on drugs, but you never know. Who knows? They might yeah. be real. Maybe she needs some more attention from her mom. Well, she was already an old lady. <laughs> yeah, maybe she didn't get enough attention. Yeah. Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Voropod. We are here. Where are we? Where We're in are a we? new location um, now. I'm actually in Sacramento, California at the moment. New location. You take too many vacations. Globe? You see this globe? I see it. What's oh, up actually with somewhere it? on there. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> you think you're funny, huh? <laughs> Anyways, what are you doing in California? I'm just visiting. I came here with my sister on a plane, uh, and then I took a bus and a train and a bus to get here instead of taking the next plane. I didn't miss so, it. It wasn't my just, fault, all right? No, let me just clarify. So you guys landed in Las Vegas together, right? Yeah. Or was it L.A.? Las Vegas. Las Vegas, and then your sister took the next flight to Sacramento, yeah. but you took a bus to L.A., and then all the way up to Sacramento or something like that? Yeah, they said I was too big, couldn't get on the plane. That happens. So, yeah, you need to stop That's eating, right. bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. But what's like you have a nasal problem, right? Uh, sinus. Explain it, but yeah. Sinus problem. It's it just inflammates whenever you go like down drastically. So plane, you know, down a hill, underwater, stuff like that. It it's just, you feel the pressure there. So. Wait. So when you're let's say like in ten feet water, that's pretty that's pretty deep, and you feel the pressure. Do you start like getting a a headache from it or something like that or how does it work so i've actually only been down maybe like seven to ten. actually i might have been down 10 feet but i've have you noticed anything with that i've only felt it when it was after like maybe half a year after like i've had the headaches from like severe stuff so like airplane okay. or down a mountain so that's when i felt it when it goes back to normal i feel like 10 feet shouldn't be that bad but I think more than that, it, it will be like very bad. But I, right. I don't, and I that's... don't go, you know, scuba diving or anything. I don't, I don't do mm -hmm. any of that, so I wouldn't know. And the thing is, probably with the pool, it's not like you're not underwater long enough for actually a cause and effect. Because with the plane, you're up in like high altitudes for a while, and then like the sudden drop or whatever, yeah. that's probably what causes it. Yeah, it's but... a sudden drop because the pressure. I think, I think the sinus gets used to like when you're on top. There's, mm -hmm. there's probably less pressure on top or more. I forgot. Like in when you're high the, in the sky, there's less pressure or more. 
I would assume. Oh, it's probably less, right? Yeah, I'd assume less. Because when you go down, it's a lot more pressure. All right, so when you go down, it just the the pressure increases a lot, and so it just like inflammates and like expands a lot, and it feels like stabbing. Yeah, yeah. it feels like stabbing in the head. It's just what an inflammation is. Yeah, it's not good. Uh, Yeah, it's something you have to deal with, but yeah. Yeah. To be honest, I always, before, when you came over to my house and we were driving to California, I was thinking, like, bro, this guy's capping. There's no way he has, like, headaches from altitude, but at this point, it seems legit, and I, like, kind of looked into it, and I guess a lot of people have that, so. Yeah, like, I'm not... you could actually search it up. It's called barosinusitis, yeah. something like that, but anyways. Uh, I'm... Enough of pity party for you, right? <laughs> well, hopefully I get a surgery. The, the doctor said there, I might get or... one there i am oh, in, like, missouri. in missouri i'm gonna get yeah. get it checked out to see if i can which will be nice i wouldn't mind to you know fly again but no doubt. especially yeah. in the future when you have to fly of a lot of course of course for you know <laughs> i gotta play for ukraine you know mm. soccer yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding, I'm kidding. No doubt. so let's do the bible verse of the day before we get into all these stories let's do it Okay, so today I'm be reading from Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 8 through 10. You ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Okay. Don't be fooled into thinking that you'll never suffer because the temple is here. It's a lie. Do you really think you can steal, murder, commit adultery, and burn incense to Baal and all those other new gods of yours? And then come here and stand before me in my temple and chant, We are safe, only to get right back to all those evils again. How does that kind of like? Yeah, how do you? How can you analyze that? It's a lot. I know. If you, I if you don't have no nothing, idea. I got I, nothing I, coming up. Okay. Because I, I honestly, I was uh, I kind of spaced out to be honest. Okay, let me just explain it. <laughs> do it again, please. Do it you again. Want me to read please. it again? Please. Okay. Don't be fooled into thinking you will never be. S- suffer because the temple is here it's a lie do you really think you can steal murder commit adultery lie and burn incense to Baal and all those other new gods of yours and then come here and stand before me in my temple and temple and chant we are safe only to go right back to all those evils again all right all right i i, the, I so it's a simple one you yeah. should understand I, I just didn't i was kind of focused on what you was trying to make me do right now but whatever oh, okay so um yeah it's basically like it's like, how do I even say it? So just because there's a, te- not necessarily a temple, but God says that w- like everybody is is safe if you believe in me, right? So like, it, it's people assume it's easy, right? Oh, as long as like as long as I uh, ask for forgiveness, you know, I'll be okay. You know how people think. You know, but they go do their stuff. You know, they do what the world does, and then they come back. Oh, as long as I like you know ask for forgiveness and like I believe in God, I'll be fine, right? Because that's what God said. Right. Yeah. It's kind of saying that. So it's saying like, yeah. you'll never suffer, so you won't experience any hardships. And you, if you ask for something from God, he'll grant it to you. If you have like a disease or something, and you like ask for him to heal. And then he doesn't heal it. Like, and you like question like, why is this not, why is he not like providing stuff for me? But then you go back to your normal life, you sin and just like don't live the godly life you know or the christian so it's, lifestyle yeah so it's basically when you're in need and you come ask for god and he doesn't do it for you or he does it for you and then you just go right back to the same thing mm-hmm. but the reason i came up with this bible verse so i was in the sauna with my brother's friend so it's probably like three days ago or something uh-huh. and we were talking about um medications because he's an anesthesiologist and me and him were just talking about it. And some other guy overheard us and started, like, kind of saying his own stuff. And then he ended up bringing up the topic that how he has uh, muscle twitches. And that's, like, oh. one of his disorders. Same thing as you, right? And I forgot the exact diagnosis he used or whatever for the um, disease he had. But pretty much one time he was just sitting at home all his muscles at the same time were twitching and he could not control it just like going crazy and this at, during that time he said his wife left him and he was just pretty much lonely and didn't know what to do and then like this disease was um kind of like taking control of his life 
So he called up his brother, which lived at a trailer home, drove there and told him we need to pray right now for my disease or the sickness because like none of the doctors can do anything. So I like uh-huh. I'm hoping God can fix it. And his brother is drunk, stoned, and he's like, yeah, sure, let's do it. And then he falls to he has the Bibles in, in his hands, falls to his knees. And the guy that was in the sauna thought his brother just passed out. And he's like, great. <laughs> now I got like a passed out stone brother or whatever. Yeah. But he fell to his knees actually, pointed to a part of the Bible, which was this verse right here, and mm-hmm. said that, and like when he read it, it literally said like, why are you coming to me with your pretty much your suffering, your diseases, when you're li- living a terrible lifestyle? And that like kind of opened up to him because he was... He said that he was like going out with a bunch of women, just like messing around with them, taking drugs, and he's over here like trying to come to God to fix his life up, and that's kind of what like woke him up, and he turned to God after that. So it was kind of cool that miracles like that kind of happen, because that's like I, that's not a coincidence, you know, that someone like his brother, which was stoned, drunk, falls to his knees and points to the exact passage that kind of like wakes up his brother and like makes him turn into a christian i don't think that like this randomly happens like that as a coincidence you yeah know? yeah and maybe if it wasn't a coincidence for that verse to be honest for you to hear it for me well to oh, say okay, it to I see me, what you mean. yeah because now uh, there's some guy with nerves that's also very similar uh. to me I don't know. Like obviously, every everybody has like uh, every, nobody's perfect, you know. And it right, also, yeah. everybody has to think about like some of the stuff that they do. It's like you can't go out do some like do worldly stuff and then come back to me, you know. Like everybody can relate to that, but you know, it's like I don't know what is the word called. Is it prorochstvo? No. Revelation. No. 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 It's like. like do you mean like? A prof prophecy, right? No, 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 no. I'm trying to say like, like people saying like what happened to them, like you know what happened to them and how, you know, you know how similar okay. it could be to your life, you know, stuff like yeah. that, you know, like how something you can relate to. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. Yeah. But I guess. yeah, I definitely it was nice to hear that because you don't hear like much miracles. I feel like in like current day and. That kind of just like woke me up and like hearing him, his story also woke me up. Like maybe I should start taking advantage of my life because I do the same thing. I noticed that where I just like always pray. So like, oh, can you give me this? Can you allow this to work out? But then I have my own like bad habits or sins or whatever I fall to. And I guess like, I don't even know, like are taking control of, but I don't know. Yeah. Um, do you, wait. Did you say that he was healed? Was was he healed? Yeah. So yeah. afterwards, somehow, like, he started living for, like, living a better Christian lifestyle. And he, I don't remember exactly what he used or what he did to, like, improve himself. He didn't really go into that. But he said that he started using some different method and it healed his disease and his also his doctors and his anesthesiologist had the same condition or something like that like some sort of twitches and they also got healed or something like that but he didn't really go into depth of what he did i don't know why (laughs) why didn't you ask him bro because i didn't really i wasn't thinking about you and be totally honest yeah that's crazy you found a way to help like found a way that like i have the bro, issue but the thing and he is, just skipped he had, over it bro <laughs> he had crazy a crazy um disease like it wasn't well, like I, yours. I know but like it it probably started off like little right nothing starts off crazy like you don't know it was something wrong with his liver that's what caused it well you actually have noticed once you, when you're stressed out or like when uh like bad anxiety let's say something's happening like you don't know what's going on something's going on or I am scared of needles, all right? I start twitching a lot more when mm-hmm. the doctor's about to give me needles and my whole body feels like it's like wants to twitch. It's just natural. I guess that's just what, how my body reacts to anxiety. I don't know. But that yeah. might be what it's from. But might have figured it 
I don't know, but it still yeah, happens. I, don't, I think his a is a little bit different than yours. But yeah, I'm pretty I understand. sure he, he said some type of medication that he used, but it's like a long one. If I, you I, see I, him, please find out, just in case. I think I can yeah, I'll try to see All him right. one time, but yeah. Alrighty, just in case. But, no doubt, that was the story with that verse. Pretty good Dude, one. Oh my. Yesterday, mm -hmm. I was at soccer, right? With my uncle, you know, with Vanya. Uh, right. They were playing so aggressive against me for some reason. They were kicking me. Bro, I got hit in the head. I got kicked in the head. Did you fall on the floor or something? No, or bro. I'm jumping for the ball. Stuff. This guy kicks me in the head. Like, I'm what jumping the at the ball. So I'm straight up, like, like jumping at the ball, trying to head her. And this guy just dunk in the head. How does he kick that high? <laughs> I don't know, like, bro. He's... I have Karate no Black Bell or something? Probably. That's insane. I, so I know. I have, I'm just up. standing there closing my eyes because cause I see something coming at me. I just dunk. What in the world? Like, you didn't jump forward. You jumped up, right? Uh, no, I was like this. So, I was like this. So, I was like, I kind of moved to the left like this, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, just like that, you know? And, and I, I got, like, dunk in the head. Honestly, I got I'm the more same guy. What? <laughs> I'm more impressed that he can get his leg up that high. <laughs> the same guy <laughs> just kicks my leg out of nowhere. The ball's like two feet ahead of me. He just kicks my foot. I'm just like, bro, what are you doing? And he just stands up and walks away. Like, like, dude, come on. They play oh, different out there, huh? Aggressive, bro. They're so aggressive. I think they're just mad because, cause, uh, yeah, I had more energy. I'm younger. I have more energy to run around. These guys are exhausted now. I just kick my foot. This random guy, bro, he hits me in the balls. He's standing right in front of me. The ball's right, like, like right underneath me. And he just kicks it right into my, like, like, you don't just kick the ball like that. You just kicked it right into my nuts, dude. The guy. I don't understand why. Why? You got to take out the co competition like exactly. that. It's so oh, much easier. Bro, I hopped out of the game because it was so bad. Like, That's all I, he needed. Exactly. Mission That's success. actually when they won, by the way. Once I hopped out, I that's why they won. Bruh. Huh? You flew all the way to California just to lose? Uh, that game, we had like multiple like matches, like matches. We like switched mm, okay. out teams or four teams. That one we lost because I got hit in the nuts. I had to hop out. All because of you, huh? All because of me. I'm so good. Well, uh, Show anything else that happened? fun stuff that was happening Happen, in California. Uh, yeah, it was actually pretty fun. It sucks that uh, I was supposed to go to uh, what's called Lake Tahoe and then I was also supposed to go to Oregon but it just didn't Yuda work out. You me to Oregon. Eager? Dude, wait, Eager? No, Yuda. Yuda. Yuda? Bro, if you would have went to Oregon I would have went to be honest. The thing is I just don't think we're gonna, there's anything fun that's going to happen there. No, well there there is like pool you know I, I guess you have all of that you literally have all of that at the gym so like, yeah nothing... yeah but it's just eric i guess it, it yeah. it's just eric there i guess he's a little bored you know that's why i was gonna go but i have to finish some stuff off here yeah and i have to look at a car maybe and stuff like that but it's yeah it would be fun though if we would have went obviously it, it's just we yeah. need to figure just, out a time like to go yeah, that's what I mean. Like, we need to figure out, like, a time when to go, like, all together or some of that. Because if, if I knew that you were going to California maybe, like, a couple weeks before I did find out, I might have went. But it just kind of, like, I already had plans. William came in town and it just didn't work out. Yeah, it was but, last second. Plus, you guys were mm -hmm. literally going to the... The snowmobiling place. The yeah. snowmobiling place, yeah. It was completely last second. It was... Just, do you missed out on the sm snowmobiling? I though? know. I know. It was I so know. fun. Like... Here, actually, I might even pull up a quick, like, video of us plowing through, but, dude, it's beautiful. Like, complete peace. You had no Wi-Fi, no data. You're just kind of, like, chilling. That's why you weren't responding to me. Oh, you thought I was mad at you or something? No, no, I, I, you guys, you uh, guys just weren't responding. I thought you guys were busy, yeah, but I was like, nothing. that's why like, you guys were not responding. The cabin had no heating or anything. It was just wood. And then the only way you could heat it up was with logs and like a furnace. Mm -hmm. And it was just. That's actually cool. The rustic feel, you know? But Vilem had a couple drone footage shots that he did. Here. Do a quick screen share. You can see it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But yeah, like here's the hot springs down here. Massive. It just Is looks that super like super nice? Wait, hot springs? Yeah. Oh, so you guys it's went like a to cabin hot resort. Oh, that's sick. Uh huh. <laughs> well, I'm trying to figure out how to fly a drone. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was super nice, and yeah, we can pull up. Uh, oh, this is me in the hot springs. Absolutely jacked. Pull it up. Oh shit, I'm on the wrong screen. Boom. Uh. Okay, let me get the snowmobiles real quick. Um, it's kind of bad quality, but uh, oh, it is. It's it's, probably it's, oh, it just literally went to good quality just now as soon as you closed okay. the video down. But yeah, these things uh, flew. They yeah, dude. I want to go was my peak. Really so much. But yeah, yeah. We definitely missed out. It was a lot I of did, fun. I know it did. But. It's whatever. Maybe another another time in the future we can do yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, actually, I have another story. So when I pulled up to Bogus, which is a snowboarding resort with my friends, uh -huh. I was driving my dad's truck because that was uh -huh. like the only option we had. They all had like small cars as well. And yeah. It was snowing that day. So when I pulled up, found a parking spot right in front of another Tacoma that looked exactly like my dad's. And there's like a bunch of like, say like 23 year old guys in that car. And then he's like, Hong Kong, dude, we have the same exact Tacoma, Tacoma gang or something like that. I'm like, what in the world is wrong with this guy? And they're all like holding brewskis, like a bunch of beers in their hand. And they're like, yo, since we have the same car, do you guys want to take these beers off of us? We're going down the mountain. And... I just stayed quiet. I'm like, I'm not going to drink. Like, I don't need this. Plus, I'm driving and stuff. I'm not yeah. a big fan of beers. And my friends, like, look over at them. They're like, yeah, of course. They start, like, chugging them and stuff. I'm like, oh, my goodness. These people are funny. And then, like, we're putting on our clothes. And I lean into the car and went to one of my friends. I'm like, I don't think they know we're not 21. And they're like, shut up, lad. <laughs> But I was just, I was like, what the heck is, like, I was just surprised what kind of people they were. They're all just blasted, driving, they're going to start driving down the mountain on bad conditions, completely drunk. Like, they were the drunk? driver. Yeah, like, even the driver was, like, he was acting so weird. Maybe they're Maybe. just acting like that, you don't think so? Bruh, they had so many cans, like, just, and like, they're pulling out of their pockets and stuff. Mm, that sucks. They're definitely blasted. Yeah. But, yeah. Snowboarding in Idaho. Dude, I, I think... actually want to go snowboarding so bad. I, I literally got snow pants just now. A couple of... You... Actually, yesterday. Have you went a lot or not really? I haven't went a lot. I've only went like a couple times. Maybe like four or five times. Okay, so you're not like that good at it. Just like... Enough I'm to decent. Go down the... yeah, yeah. I can go... I went on the, the highest hill in Boreal, but that's not like... It's not crazy. Yeah, it's, it's, gonna be. Like, it's like a mid, you know. At the beginning, I'm crazy scared when it goes like straight down. That's pretty scary, but uh, mm -hmm. yeah, after that, like it's completely fine all the way through. Once you get like pretty good at it, it gets so fun. Yeah, it does. If you move here, we'll always go, dude. You're... Yeah. I just need to finish my college, bro. And what have you been doing recently? So much distractions. I have not been doing college. That's what I've been doing. For how doing. long? I don't think you've done college since... Two weeks! <laughs> I think it, like... But, like, technically, you haven't really done it since, like, the first time we went to California. For, like, the whole, like, when everyone gathered there. <laughs> like, what do you mean? To be honest. Like, you haven't really been working on it since then. When was that? When it was, like, October or something like that? For Dota No, was... no, I've finished classes after that. Oh, you have? How many... Yeah. Do you have five yet? No, I I can't get the fifth one done. I I was literally about to take I was about to take the test right before I left. Mm. No, right before public came actually. No, like right before they came, I was supposed to like plan my test out. Okay. Oh. Well, and now I'm gonna forget everything. Catch up like crazy. I'm gonna have to catch up like crazy once I get back, dude. I, yeah. phew, dude, you, complete study. Are you even gonna finish within the year? No idea, to be honest, but Dude, you gotta, hopefully one year. You gotta grind. I will grind. I I will I will grind. Plus, I got another. I got a job, 
So we're at for myself actually. What do you mean? It's contract. It's contract work. It's 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 just contract work for my aunt. Anyways. Oh, okay. But I, it was the stuff that I was telling you, you to do, but she needs the work for it. So I'll do it You're for telling her. Telling me to do? No, the, what I was telling you that I was gonna do. Oh, okay. The yeah, yeah. So she needs the work done. So I said, like, we're still talking over the 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 contract, but whatever. But anyways, okay. yeah. So I'll be getting money off of there, so I won't have to worry about anything else, and then. And a school is my only other, uh, the, like, requirement. That's it. That's all I'm going to be doing. Uh, Just school? Well, maybe soccer, but... What do you think about ice bass? Dude, scary, to be honest. Scary. Super scary. Like, like yeah, I was like, oh, I, I want to get it. But then, like, you're standing over it, a bucket of ice. Bruh. It's like... You don't even understand. Uh... That's, like, one of the worst <laughs> things ever. Here, I'm gonna pull up a little clip of me doing it, right here. I might turn on my audio real quick so you probably don't talk. <laughs> Cannot breathe at all. <laughs> That's cold. <laughs> <laughs> It just lasted forever. I just could not stop. And then right here, I kind of relax. And then... Peace. I say peace. <laughs> but... You can talk now. But yeah, it was absolutely... This tor I was like, it tortured me, to be totally honest. Yeah, and <laughs> so it I wasn't even ice, right? It was just cold no, water. It, was, it wasn't even ice yet. Like, the next morning, when I... Woke up and like cracked the top layer. That's when there was ice, and it was probably like I'm say forty, low forties, high thirties. The temperature of the water. Uh -huh. It was so much colder. Like I couldn't catch my breath for a while, and just needles everywhere. I could only last yeah. a minute in there. That is really scary. I've probably felt that maybe a couple of times when we were like from sauna, mm -hmm. uh, when we were out in in the mountains with the sauna. Yeah. And we and jumped into snow. the snow. Yeah, yeah that's that one compare. of the times. Because I did that. Really? I did that with uh, hot springs, like super hot hot springs. When I went on the snowmobiling trip and it jumped in the snow, it's like it's not the same. Like it feels cold, really? but it's not the same as this. Like you literally have you, feel needles. Have you ever been in a sauna and like get washed down with like a hose? Uh -huh. Is that not the same? No. When it's like you, freezing outside. It's not the same, bro. Like you same. feel cold. It's like, ooh, this like it's cold, but that yeah. it's literally needles and your whole body goes numb. Like I might be overreacting, but it was terrible. Like my whole entire body was red from like neck down. Well, yeah, I it's, guess it's extreme temperatures. Yeah, it's supposed to be very healthy for you though, because it. So what happens is your body, like all everything constricts like since you're trying to conserve heat and then your lymphatic system which is the secretions and hormones and stuff that's what it does it also um constricts and somehow hormone is like pumped through your body or something i don't know the exact science behind it but what like the results from it you get like less inflammation in like your joints your muscles everywhere in your body your um helps with muscle recovery increases dopamine so you're like you're more energized throughout the day and i'm pretty sure there's a couple more things but it's like it's super healthy for you so I like might as well try it out you know Push yeah i might i might get like a tub in mm -hmm. uh missouri but we'll see because i don't even know what kind of tub i'd get to be honest to get a trough what is that it's like what the pigs eat from yeah yeah. Is that the metal? Is that the metal one, or is that the yeah, one? Yeah, there's you plastics have? one too. They're, it's probably the cheaper ones, right? Yeah, the plastics are. Oh, they're probably around the same because it's a super thick. Plastic. I, have you seen? Have you seen people do it in like garbage cans? Like you know, like mm -hmm. the garbage big ones. They just like, fill yeah. it up with water and just do it in there. It just it's less comfortable getting in one of those because you have to yeah. like somehow climb into there. This well, is easier ladder, to sit yeah. down. Ladder. Yeah. But yeah. Just, I feel like it's easier doing it this way, but. Yeah. The. The tanks, like the specific ones, are like 10,000, 30,000. I was looking it up. I was like, what Why? in the world? Because I don't know. I guess some so sort of complex machinery or something. Do they like 
It just keeps it probably iced cold, huh? Right, right before ice, it keeps it like at 33 degrees. Yeah, it's you can set it to wherever you want. Like you can have it uh -huh. 34, or 35, so it's like whatever. A colder and then hotter. Uh, I don't that's think cold. it goes hot, but it doesn't warm it up. What do you mean? I, I'm not actually. I'm not exactly sure how it works. Maybe you can turn into a jacuzzi as well. Who no, knows? because if if you're in the winter, not in the jacuzzi. I just mean like warm it up, like where it's not frozen. You know, the water doesn't freeze. You know what I mean? Hmm. Because if you if you're out in like the freezing cold, ah, whatever, bro. I don't know how they work. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Anyways, you should do Anyways. it. Anyways, <laughs> I fun. I actually want to. Um, yeah. I just don't know. I'll, I'll probably go over to like some Home Depot or something and figure out what they got. Where did you get yours? It's some sort of farmer store. Farmer store. Yeah, they had like all the farming equipment there. Like I went to Home Depot and. Lowe's and stuff like that but they didn't have the exact ones like they were way too small like I got uh -huh. an 150 gallon tank you might be able to fit in a 100 gallon one but I, like I just wanted a little bigger one My, like that one's pretty good so how much is 150? online 150 gallons and it costed oh, yeah, I'll, 110 dollars I'll, I'll see I'll when I go there I'll, I'll check it out yeah. yeah if anything just order on Amazon or something yeah, or online well that Sure. Ready for the main topic, or do you have anything uh, else to say? No, I think, I think we're, we're good to ready. go. Yeah, good to go. Okay. Well, we're talking about space today and ast astrology in general, just everything about it. But I love space. You love it. What do you like? I about love it, it everything. What everything. do you mean you I love, love it? Everything. You gotta have something. It just it just seems it like that. when you think about space, it just seems like ad advanced, right? Like you. You need to like the world needs to be advanced to get there, so. Mm -hmm. So it's just like sci-fi. That that's what I like sci-fi and like space is just like fits into that category. So. That's you just like sci-fi. That's it. Well, it's not that I like sci-fi. It's like, it's just sick. Like imagine like a bunch of different worlds and all have different uh, their own you know ecosystems. Imagine how many worlds there are like in the world. Obviously, we we can't like go to different. Um, what what is the close? I forgot what it's called, but the closest uh, planet, or solar universe? system, solar system, closest solar oh, actually, system. Oh, yeah, sorry, solar system. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 far. We're not gonna get there in a long time. But imagine we were so advanced that we could get there in like I don't know, a couple of weeks. Mhm. Mm like it, it's just crazy. Like to, for me to think. About. Even a couple of weeks, that's way too long. Cause the closest so solar system to us, if we're traveling at light speed. It takes four years. Cause, no, isn't yeah the closest. Oh, light split. light speed, yes, okay, light speed, yeah, yes, it's four years, and even if we somehow develop um, a vehicle that can go at light speed, which is almost impossible, like at least like from physics, our current physics standpoint, it's impossible to develop something that will go light speed, and to think that it'll take four years to travel there it's still kind of like disappointing you know yeah because when it's... you think about sci-fi or like i guess planetary travel you think about like doing it in a couple seconds or it takes like a few minutes just to go to a new world but this is like four well years. no i don't i don't know what you've been th watching but everything but movies okay. in general movies all the movies that i've watched takes forever to get places Nah. Yeah. Like everything Valerian, that I've watched. That one is like. Valerian second. is, it. You don't really watch it for like Interstellar, like. For that kind of stuff, you don't really watch. It's it's like, it's it's just a movie. I don't know, but the shows that are actually like realistic type of thing. Realistic, the ones that you're traveling in space. Is that what you're calling realistic? Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll let All you continue. Right. <laughs> All right, so the expanse, really realistic, right? Mm -hmm. It's very like, you could see the like r like laws are still like obeyed. Like it's nothing crazy where you know they have any sort of technology that takes you anywhere you want to go with you know like this. Uh, it's what is their like? Do they have vehicles that can travel at light speed or how does no, it work? No, 
It so just... there's nuclear. It was a fission or fusion. I forgot. Fission. It's probably fission. Because fusion um, is what we have right now. Yeah. So it's fission, nuclear fission, and their engines are like, I think, fifty times more powerful than what we have right now. I think so. So okay. they're or no, fifty times. My numbers are wrong, but anyways, they have the they're, they've got fission to a place where it works. It's in space, everything's working, and when you look at all of the movies, probably like Star Trek. Okay. Have you seen Star, Star Trek? Wars. Star Wars, Star Trek, all of them. They've they all have like um, gravity that like on ships which is like a little you know kind of impossible right from our viewpoint but over there they use um you know the the engine as gravity so they put they put everything like this and you walk like on top so that when it pushes up so it pushes you down okay so like force right so anyways when the, the point is up, that's up. realistic it's very realistic to our current technological standpoint so everything there is very realistic at least space travel not the alien uh -huh. type of stuff so do you believe that maybe in the future we can develop some sort of like light speed technology because or are we able to ever travel to that like so the closest solar system even do you think that's like physically possible physically probably yes it's possible with given enough time um in what ways do you think in what ways so have you done any research on like space travel yeah the, a bit. there's like those youtube videos out there like about the drives that that are coming out and like at least not that haven't even come out they're just like um theoretical drives right the people interstellar like, drives and stuff yeah stuff like that it's like theoretical where it's like ideas that sort of work in mm -hmm. you know laws but they don't really work quite yet because they don't know how to even make them so there's one that literally folds space time in front and then like uh pulls it back at the end so it kind of like puts a dent in time Okay. So it squeezes. It uses time as a mode to drive fast, because as a propulsion. Time. You're not saying that yeah. like you're not you're like going to some portal and popping up somewhere else. That's yeah. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Just making sure. It, it's it's kind of like squeezing time, making uh, going at a regular speed in reality, but it's moving time where you're going a lot faster in a certain amount of time. So mm -hmm. you could be going 100 miles an hour. Give enough time. Like, like, from one view, you could it could take a hundred years. From another view, it's one year. So when they full time, uh, it takes uh, it goes at light speed at our regular time. Right. Do, does that make sense? But that's not physically possible, is the thing. Currently now, no. But it's like theoretically. Well, the thing possible. is, it's not though, because like with physics, all of the big masterminds that studied it, like they. They stated that you're not, that's like not possible. It does not work out to like bend time or anything like that because time cannot be like altered or anything. It stays like I don't know. It's like that's what it's what they not say. though. Because time is different in space than it is here. And where did you learn this from? Because it's because I've heard otherwise is the thing. No, because it is different because of uh, gravity. Time is time is sort of what's it called altered by gravity that's why when um uh, what's it called dark hole what is it called mm -hmm. okay. black hole black hole yeah that's when you get true, closer I... gravity uh like changes time yeah because i watched a youtube video once and this is all theoret like they don't know for exact fact but that's what people are guessing and this youtube video stated that the further you go into a dark hole the faster time goes so one second outside of the dark hole is like ten seconds in there or something like that. Or it depends how how much further yeah. you get in. Yeah, I've seen actually a movie like that. Mm -hmm. It's it's like insane. Uh, it could be like a hundred years outside, and it's like only a minute or an hour in. Uh, but close the thing by. is, we don't know that's if that works or not. We that's don't. Yeah, we don't. Like we don't know how it works. But they're assuming based on that 
time is different here and in space based on the gravity difference they're looking at the difference of gravity close to the black hole and then further away as a like sort of multiplier so right. like so if it's that saying, different here it's... when you're saying uh time is different in space rather than than on earth do you mean like how far into space just like right away where the, the space orbit? station is the space station That's, is it's different up there it's different up there by it, it's very degree? minuscule it's very minuscule okay. it's like parts of a second but it, no it's like it's like very tight. It was like point zero 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 something of a second. And they've proven but that. They've proven it, yeah. Okay. So they're. J I'm pretty sure they're using the gravity difference from up there to here to like multiply like black hole gravity there and here, you know. And then so the further in space you get, or closer to the black holes you're talking about, the more different time works. Yeah, gravity sort of forces okay. time to, I guess, go faster. I'll trust you on this one because I don't know anything about that, but. If you're saying that, if, like you've you've seen that, right? The time is different. I've on seen that in station. movies. I've seen that in uh, what's it called? Uh, like uh, it's not movies. Written like... stuff. No, I know. Okay. But I'm saying like they they use the the okay like actual the facts. stuff. Yeah, facts okay. to write those movies because it's kind of been known. I don't know if they. I don't think they've disproved it by now, but this was known for a while now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, another. Let's go back onto the kind of like time not time travel sorry the space travel another theory i've seen before is that they don't know this for sure but like how the solar system is all constructed in space but there's a theory that space folds like this so it's like do you understand understand it's like in yeah. layers uh -huh. so there's one layer right there and it curves into a second layer into a third layer into a fourth and they're saying there can be like certain points where those two layers connect like they're stacked up on each other and you can fall into that point which could be like a black hole or something and you can zip into another universe or whatever or into like a different part of space so that could be another theory of how you can do space travel i don't know yeah i've, if I've right. heard about that one too i think they use like well, they sort of use two papers as as a thing where you uh, no one paper sorry they uh -huh. get it they fold it like this right and yeah. anywhere they just go right here and they you could you could move the paper around too so anywhere where you are you just squeeze a pocket and go through it and you're on the other side now right instead of going all the way from here to here you just fold the paper and you just go down through it but that's like it's, movie type of yeah stuff. that's a movie type of thing too because you even saw that in the new Doctor Strange movie, when they're falling through all the different, what's it called, universes, they're like, yeah, that's how they like they zip through like that. That's kind of yeah. how I saw it as well. I that's didn't a, watch that movie. Yeah, you didn't watch that one. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty good, kind of demonic, was it? but I I heard it was very demonic. Yeah, yeah. very not kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't yeah. Really feel like but that's one way. Else. I think the only way we're gonna achieve somewhat like decent space travel is if we find an efficient like source of energy that you can like when you have like abundance of a you no know, that's the only way and abundance i don't know exactly of it? yeah so it means you have no, I, I know what it means I I yeah just, i just can't think Infinite of anything amount. that that could like be uh, only like i don't know nuclear fission like if we figure yeah. that out it's, it's a possibility that, that's not gonna get you into like any kind of cr crazy tr speeds or travel or anything like yeah. that. It's probably I've... solar system type of stuff from from yeah. here to Mars. You know, that they're thinking about right now because fusion fission is good for power and everything. So if we figure it out, we'll be able to go to fission's Mars. probably gonna be the next thing that humans kind of develop, like the next big energy source. Yeah, for sure. And we're not even close to anything like that because. Was it the Korean um, reactor that no, it recently was, was on the news? Huh? Uh, it was it. Wait, wait, what was it? So there was a reactor that had plasma for I think like I milliseconds think at a time. Yeah, it was most likely Actually, Korean. I saw it. You think it was Korean? Yeah. Uh, it was. Like, it was had in it Asia. For a very it small Asia. amount of part where yeah. they had like actual plasma, and then like it just. Disappeared. Or I, I heard. Blue. I heard that it was like 
they actually had multiple tests and they were able to get it to a couple of seconds actually. Seconds. Like, it, it, it was seconds. Oh really? I it was something like ten seconds. But the thing is, why I think it was China is because it was like a, it was very like, out there type of information. It was like it could have been right, could have been wrong. It was just like out there, you know, like it was like ten seconds, like impossible, right, for us to think. But China, you know, likes to say, you know, bad, wrong information just to make themselves look better. That's why I, th I thought it was uh, China. Where did you see that? It was oh, it was I, I saw news I think, I saw it on the news somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where. This was a while ago, right? It was like months. Yeah. If not a year. Okay. Um, they said yeah, Korea's fusion okay. reactor. It's not fission. It's fusion. Fusion. Yeah. Oh, we're stupid. It was always fusion. Sorry, fission. Fission is what we, is the nuclear bomb. Fission is the nuclear bomb. Fusion. Yeah. Wow. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's it's yeah. Anyways, yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, it's I don't know why I mixed that up. Yeah, so nuclear fusion is the energy of the future, pretty much. But yeah, Korea's fusion reactor sustained temperature seven times hotter than the sun for thirty seconds. Okay. Okay. So they had it for yeah, multiple seconds. seconds. Yeah. And that that is real, like that wasn't, because Korea is more trustable than obviously China, since they're like. Dude, I just searched it up and. And what? There's so much new uh, stuff going on the last couple of days. Apparently, oh, California has a big breakthrough in fusion. Yeah, but uh, like that's the next thing that people are gonna be, the scientists are gonna be working on, and. Yeah, like, it's slowly getting better and better. Right in yeah. in Korea, it was thirty seconds. You know, somebody uh -huh. else is gonna go forty seconds. Somebody else is gonna go a whole minute, and then and, and then, then, then once it gets Iron figured Man. out, yeah, more like money will get pumped into the, into the system. Yeah, it'll be big. Yeah. Man, I don't understand how I didn't know that fusion or fission. I'd be just flip bombs. off the words. Eh? <laughs> they're yeah, way too. They're, they're very way similar too close. words. Yeah. I think pretty much That's are. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's just divide and then like sort of pump them together, like huh? squeeze. Like yeah, you throw them at each other, so like you kind of oh. shoot energy into the thing. Well, however it works, yeah, I don't exactly. Yeah, know. so it was fusion on those uh, rocket ships on uh, what's it called? On the movie. On the expanse, yeah, the movie. Mhm. Mm um. Yeah. I think that's all for space travel. You have anything? Really? Any other theories? Uh, any other theories? Or anything you want? Do you to think with? that people will live um, on Mars? In our lifetime, or just in general? In our lifetime. In general, it, like if you give it enough time, obviously it's gonna happen. I think happen, so. But since in our Elon Musk is that's like his main goal in life, pretty much, is to get people on Mars, and anything that he works for, or like any decision he makes, he's like asks himself, will this allow for people to get onto Mars quicker? Like huh. that's literally something he says. So I personally think it will happen in their lifetime. I don't think it's anything. What do you mean by living? Like full time living with the whole entire atmosphere created, or just like no, no, just like living, like people that live on Mars every single like for a whole year at least. Okay, so kind of like the space station, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's possible in their lifetime. I don't know about having a whole entire like civilization on there, but I think there can be like space studies or whatever on Mars. In Have lifetime. you heard about the Van Allen radiation belt? That's the I shoot. I think it's I the have. belt around the Earth. A radiation uh, belt around the Earth. The ozone layer kind of thing, or no? It's it's a it's a radiation belt around the Earth. Okay. Like w what about um, it though? So basically, everything that I've read says that nobody can go through that radiation belt because everything just dies in there. Oh, so people have technically have never been to space. People have technically no space maybe, but like space doesn't start with the radiation belt. It starts okay. like a little outside. So people can go out into space but they can't really go to the moon 
Mm -hmm. because of the radiation belt. Well, the thing is, we, like, the scientist and the astronaut, whatever, NASA or whatever, they, they did state that it gets really bad with um, radiation and stuff outside of Earth's ozone layer and, like, the whole, uh -huh. they said the radiation belt or whatever, and yeah. they develop some sort of technology on the rockets that protects them against that, and the suits have um, materials that, pr like, deflect the radiation or something like that. Yeah, it may be, but, like, I've never heard... Everything that I've heard is just says that we don't have anything uh, that goes against it or so, something like that. Like, we don't have a way well, yeah, to that definitely could get be out of the radiation. Theory with it. That's, that, that was the best, like, form, like... Not even form, because it's just, like, the best, like, fight... Like, oh, my best arguing idea why... Against... Yeah, arguing against why people didn't go to the moon. Uh, well, I there's, speak right there's many of them. Well, there's many of them, but this is, like, the one that, like, uses actual, like... Um, science and evidence. Science, and it kind of... Because nobody said, like, they keep saying that we don't have a way to get out of the radiation belt. Then how did you go to the moon? You know, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Maybe. I just don't understand what's the point of lying to people about it. Uh, Now, I guess. I mean, I understand why they would lie at then, because they wanted to beat Soviet Union. Right, but like now, because they, they keep on keep saying that they're going there. They have, oh, I guess, human. That's not human life on Mars. Yeah, this is so, just. That but that, I guess, do robots? Robots, it doesn't matter, right? If they experience radiation. Well, the 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 robots. They're yeah, not okay. Humans. They're not organic uh, beings. Well, like it doesn't so, interfere with the like hardware or like electronics of it. Cause They're probably that, hardened because because well you know, in that there's, case there's they have something to defend do. against it the radiation. Maybe sort of, but it's different for organic beings. It's like electronics yeah. and organic beings. It's completely different. But anyways, yeah, kind so of. did you actually hear that uh, NASA wants to build a like base on the moon by 2025? I think. Yeah, I saw. I yeah. saw some, some. I don't think it was 2025. Was it? Was it? Was it 2030 like or something? Yeah. I think they were starting maybe 2025 to just like send the actual thing, something okay. like that. It was either 25 or 30, but I think it was 25. But anyways, that that's pretty soon. That's a couple of years. That's gonna be cool. So to we'll see find that, out. Sure. We'll find out if we have anything against the Van Allen. NASA though. was doing that. NASA, yeah. Hmm. We started getting funding again. Well, they they're probably like funding space. They're probably apps. partnering up, yeah. With yeah, they're probably partnering. But it's gonna be you know their base or whatever. It's it's a permanent base, just like the solar system. I mean, the system in the, the space shuttle, space system. What is it called? <laughs> I don't have no idea what you're saying. Dude. The space thing is it goes out on the Earth, and there was always people or, on there. It's from Earth, like the International Russian Space Station. Space Station. There you go. I can't think right now. Anyways, it's gonna be like always Hold banned. Up. Take a couple deep breaths. <sighs> <laughs> Relax. It's all okay. All right. All right. Now, so basically, what was it called? It's always going to be manned a space station, but it's we not going it. to be in space. It's going to be on the moon. A mm -hmm. moon station. I think that will uh definitely like advance like the space, you know, exploration, maybe space what do you learning think, about space what do you think they could possibly do on there to learn any sort of test imagine you could, pro so, they could probably throw a nuke in space in moon on the moon they haven't done that yet i don't think they have to be totally honest but to be oh yeah i guess that definitely can help with advancing like human space stuff. kind of technology because if they're able to develop like stronger nuclear weapons and test them on the moon and stuff we can defend against like asteroids because i've you heard about all the massive earth ending asteroids like passing yeah, by us and sure. stuff and all these like this thing oh this asteroid came in like three million miles of earth obviously that sounds like a lot to us but 
on the scale of space that's super close because i don't know that's there's always like news stories about how killer asteroids are so they actually did explode a nuke in space they have. in 1962 mm. on the moon or just in space it's space and what happened 240 miles into the sky a uh, yield of 1.45 megatons about that's 100 big. times the size of the Hiroshima bomb. Hundred times? Hundred times the the bomb, yeah. Oh dang. Yeah. That's Let's small. see. Um. Uh, so planes underwent electrical surges, and then lamp lights were blown, and a giant aurora bloomed in the sky. An electromagnetic field was generated above the Earth and was bigger in size than what scientists were anticipating. Um, so that was because of excitement of electrons and them accelerating at surreal speeds because there's no Shoot. force. Wait, did to you stop say them. it interfered with the electromagnetic field? Ah, uh, wait. No, an electromagnetic field was generated above the Earth. Okay, because I remember reading somewhere how certain countries can actually do, like, attacks on each other doing that. Because you know how everything is powered by, like, pretty much electricity and it's all on the yeah. grid. And it's like the, what are they called? The, the things that orbit Earth shit. Uh, satellites, 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 satellites. Yeah, everything. All yeah. countries have like their own satellites that they run on. They yeah. have their own systems and stuff. But you can do nuclear electromat electromagnetic uh, pulse strikes. So you pretty much release a nuke up in space, and it somehow dismantles the electromagnetic field of that like country and stuff, and it, like pretty much shuts everything down. Like that's a possibility that we can do stuff like that. Yeah, I forgot what those bombs were called, but, like, it's... All Nuclear computers AMP just shut strikes. down. AMPs, there you go. Yeah. They shut down all types of electronics. That whole... All of your electronics are fried. Yeah, so, and everything's done. The scary thing about that is... It takes, obviously, like, trillions of dollars to fix that, power the nation up again. But you can't do that quick enough. It takes, like, weeks or months to rebuild and, like, fix the infrastructure... And, like, so many people will die, like, famines and everything yeah, like that. Yeah, for sure. So, who knows? Like, I feel like we have um, weapons like that right now, right? For, oh, 100%. Every single so, nuke is capable of doing that. Yeah, that's that's super scary. Cause There's of... thousands of them. Uh, um, dude, if one explodes over your location, I think, I think the only stuff that is going to be saved is stuff that's not plugged in, I think. Uh-huh. Stuff that isn't plugged in, stuff that has no electrical charge in their system whatsoever. There are obviously military vehicles, military equipment, everything, all of that. Most of their stuff is safe, yeah. but not all of their stuff. So some of their stuff will be matter. gone, but yeah, some of their stuff will be safe. Like that would cause such a big like. People, regular or... people, they'd probably start dying really quickly. Yeah, really quickly. But the military will will make a response pretty quickly as well. Yeah. They they they're expecting it. like it's it's in the plans for like actually seen that's uh, pretty much yeah this is gonna cause a nuclear war right there and like the world would end or it I would think come it is I don't ending. think I don't know how it w what would happen I think if that would happen I think I like US the would nukes would be dropping on the ground as well if that happened you think so thing. yeah because they wouldn't just say Putin got upset at America and he's like. You know how he says I'm gonna be nuking you guys all the, all the time. He like threatens. Yeah. If he does that, that's that's pretty much the same exact thing. Cause then I, I what's gonna it. stop America from doing the same thing and him getting pissed off and throwing nukes on the actual land? I know, but the thing is, uh, I don't think Putin would do an AMP strike. I think he would just completely just wipe Not out his nuke. Yeah, he yeah. just wouldn't like. He has no reason to take off just... our grid. It's that gives pointless. America a chance to exactly like, fight to back respond. right away. Yeah, it it would have to be like a weird sort of thing where, like, oh, let's no, say it's an accident. <laughs> we accidentally sent a nuke. Yeah. America accidentally sent a nuke and it exploded in space, and yeah. all of American stuff are like gone now. Like, oops, you know, all of West Coast is completely wiped off 
uh, no technology at all. Like, no technology on the West Oopsie Coast. Daisy. <laughs> Oopsies. You know, it, it would be, have to be something like that. Or it was, like, complete chaos. Like, the world was already screwed and somebody just has a nuke. And they're just like, oops. Want to test it out. Exactly. Like, I, I don't... I don't see why Putin would do that. Right. But yeah, it's, it's crazy. I just... America might do that, though, to um, a non-nuke country. Like who? Anybody they got beef with, to be honest. I don't think they would, because that's not... They wouldn't, they obviously. Nuke is the yeah. last uh, type of resort. But let, let's say Russia... That's actually a good example. He, they could start sending nukes at Ukraine to take out all of their uh, elect, like electrical stuff. They won't nuke the people because they're still like uh, civilians, right? Yeah. They're gonna say, "Oh, we just took out their electronics. Like, what's the big deal?" They kind of already did that thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, they they just hit their power stations, but yeah. if they really want to take out like all uh, like most of the technology, they just send a nuke right above, explode it, you know. It's like, we didn't nuke anybody. We just took out their, you know, what do you, their electricity. Do you think if Russia nuked Ukraine, there would be any, like... What would the response be? Do you think they would, someone would send nukes at Russia? Or they would just, no. like... You don't think anything like that would happen? No. no nobody think, would send nukes back. Yeah. I don't think anything would happen like that as well. It's not worth it. Whoever sends nukes is dead. Yeah. Because Ukraine is not protected by any sort of nuke country. That's what sucks. They had a bunch of nukes, and they just gave them away. Oh, they never had it. It was Russia's to begin with. It was Soviet Union's, but... Yeah. Uh, it was kind of split up. It was Ukraine's at that point, because it was in Ukraine. And then America came along and said, um, Can you please, please give them back? They all said it. They signed it. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. of course. But, like, so please, please <laughs> we will protect you. Please give them back. And then Ukraine said, of course, just make I sure wonder to protect why, me. I wonder why America didn't want Ukraine to have them give one to Russia. I, actually, they were, like, all of the countries that had nukes at the time. Like, I'm pretty sure all of the, like, little Baltic countries, too, had a couple. Well, Baltic. Uh -huh. Baltic. Yeah, yeah. Maybe Balkans, too. I think I think some Balkans, too. Um, they, I'm pretty sure a lot of them, like, gave them away. But they probably only had a couple. The big one was uh, Ukraine. They had most of the nukes. Yeah. Because it was just left there. That's where their big nuke station was, I guess. And so, actually, at that point, uh, America, you know, I think NATO, which just started it then, they were like, oh, we need to get nukes out of everybody's hands. So, like, let's just, you know, the least, less amount of, you know, countries that have nukes, the less amount of chances that uh, <laughs> we in the world, you know? Yeah. So, so they did that, and so... Yeah, and now they're not helping Ukraine out much. After they signed those papers. Not good. Not good. But, oh, Russia said they... they Russia promised they wouldn't attack. <laughs> they yeah. promised. Dude, we're talking about war. I'm tired of all this. <laughs> Bro, I live... <laughs> yeah. I'm wearing Ukraine here, bro. I'm living with Vinny. Like Vinny talks about it all day. Same oh, yeah, I get to it's hear so about annoying. it. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I get tired of listening to it. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I try to like it. joke around with them. I try uh -huh. to joke around with them, like say, "But come on, you know, like this is like it's you know." At the end, it's not even the No, thing. what do you mean? Yeah, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. So let's get funny. away from it. All right. It's boring. <laughs> um, oh, did you know? Actually, actually, on the topic of nukes, they were thinking about throwing nukes behind the spaceship and like exploding nukes and like nukes, nukes, nukes to get faster and faster, like as a space travel type uh, of thing. That's it's like one brute way do, force, old way of tr like well, it's not old way, but it's brute force type of way of travel, space travel. A better way to do it is to send nukes at asteroids. You think so? They they did that recently. Did they actually? Yeah, they had like. It was a, some type of like spacecraft, and I think they might have only just had a spacecraft without a nuke, and they sent it at a asteroid just to see if they can hit it, you know, like track it down and hit yeah. it, and they managed to hit it. So that was kind of like an advancement for humanity to defend against asteroids. But would you think a nuke would be able to stop an asteroid? No. A no. Bit, like the spaceship 
deflected it very little. But the thing is, if you hit it from far enough, you might kind of like divert yeah. the track enough that like over a period of distance it it will flick it away from Earth. But but you knows? know what's also like different is because Earth has gravity as well. Right. That's right. why so it can. It's gonna pull it in by itself. So uh-huh. if if it's coming in, depends how far. Obviously, you hit it. if you hit it far enough and it kind of like it's out it can like get thrusted by it but if it's yeah. like here and it's already going this way you hit it as like e it still goes in yeah it has to be calculated obviously obviously yeah but but would a nuke be able to cuz it was a spaceship it obviously has, it has a nuke to be is a lot like more a very powerful nuke to actually destroy it or like break it up into many chunks like i don't think even the tsar bomba like the strongest one that recorded its strongest bomb even has the ability to break it. Wait, but wouldn't breaking it up in smaller chunks kind of be bad? Because like, there's a bunch of stuff, and like, it could like absolutely annihilate cities. It can be, but it's safer than having a massive one hit Earth. Because like, some of them might break away into different yeah. places, or if you break it off into enough small pieces, it will burn up in the af- atmosphere quicker. Yeah, but who knows? I, so. I don't know the exact <laughs> science behind it. But the thing Obviously, is, with... Yeah. Uh, on the topic with asteroids, people um, speculate that there's like very expensive metals and resources on the asteroids, and somehow funding a space mining station can actually be worth it. So obviously it's going to cost a lot of money to go up into space, create that whole entire program, mine the materials, and bring it back. It will like cost a couple trillion, but... If you find a good one, you will still make a like a couple trillion profit off of each asteroid. It'll end up being worth it. But the thing is, who has trillions to put into that? Right. And like, and then also it's only for desperate. When when you think about it, trillions to get trillions back—that's more than an economy like altogether. You know, mm-hmm. it's like it's like the it, you bringing that in will kind of crash the economy. It's like bringing trillions, trillions of dollars in one day like this. No, in one day, it's, it comes in like in waves of material. It's like mining. Mining doesn't happen in one moment. Like you have to mine it. I some guess, comes I guess, in, I guess, some I comes guess. in. But wouldn't that? Would it? Would it still it like become way less worth? Like that product, whatever they're selling, it'll be way less worth. So well, if it's we need it, so if like we find a bunch of, let's say like copper or gold. We use that in so, like certain technology, so we're going to be able to use it more often, and not be as like what is it called uh, stingy with it on their products. I don't know. I guess it, it'll maybe decrease the value of the let's say like material or whatever the element, but if we have a use for it, it'll still be beneficial for our economy. Have you seen the movie Don't Look Up? No. <laughs> you and your so, movies. <laughs> no, it was actually talking about that, what you were talking about. They mm-hmm. were, um, it, it's on Netflix. So basically, uh, there was a, there was an asteroid that's going to hit Earth. Mm-hmm. And basically, this rich guy is like, oh yeah, we're going to create a way to actually capture it and like put it like right next to Earth so we'll mine it. You know, all you guys are going to get jobs. We're all going to be rich. Trust me. And so his technology failed in time, and like, yeah, he just dipped Earth. But basically, anyways, he was like, he was like thinking about mining it, you know, and yeah. doing that. So, and we could also like yeah. some of the asteroids might have some sort of like energy, um, energy. element on there that we could like mine and use. Like a new one, maybe. Yeah, who knows? Like we don't yeah. know ex- the. Like, there could be more elements, you know, up in space. Of course. I'm pretty sure they found two new ones just recently. Uh, from they a space found from... or they created? No, they found because it, it crashed it, like it crashed down to Earth. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was uh, It was something. It might have been like a complete scam that I'm looking at. But, yeah, uh, I don't. Nothing I on the internet. Bigger. Nothing on the internet? Yeah, not like nothing that pops up like right away. So, All right. not a big story. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know. I heard something like it was on an asteroid that like crashed down to Earth. You know, like a small one. 
It's like two new elements yeah. that were found. But anyways, it it's like it could be anything on on those asteroids. It could be made of anything, mm -hmm. right? We we don't know what's out there in the uh, in the universe. We don't know what's out there. Could exactly. be aliens. I what do you think so. about aliens? I, dude, I do you believe in them? them? I love huh? them. I love them. I have a big heart for aliens. What you mean by that? So you you think dude, that, uh, there's a possibility that aliens 100%, are Hundred percent. There's a possibility. What do you mean, hundred percent? Why are you so confident? There's a possibility. I didn't say that they're, that they're out there. Well, 100%. you said it pretty confidently. Yeah, Why do you they're probably a out there. To be honest, because you know, space is so big. Space is so big. There's a lot of open chances for you know stuff mm -hmm. to happen. You know, uh, humans or sorry, not humans. Uh, aliens or like I don't know species to be made a lot of life that could be out there you never know so why do you think God would make a bunch of sub species of humans or not do even you think humans, there's like, sub species of not humans? sub sorry like different species or different civilizations I mean, you it's say. not our uh, it's not our job to understand God I guess right so we can never understand, but I mean, it's possible. It doesn't say anywhere in the Bible that he did it. That's true. Right. So but do you think he would allow us to interact with those different species? Uh, I don't think he'd stop it. Do you think he would stop it? I don't know. So I'm asking. <laughs> I think that because i never said earth that I, is actually aliens flat the earth is flat and we are living in a dome and you're actually not even real so you're just a figment of my imagination so you're telling me this is your world and i'm yeah part of it yeah you're actually you're the main character of my world wait what <laughs> That's embarrassing. You can't even be the main character of your I'm own world. Kidding. <laughs> no, it's my world, and you're like one of the main characters, yeah? Okay, I see. All right. Do you ever think about it that way? Uh, no. I. Some okay, sometimes, but I like, I definitely do. I'm like, is this just like all a test, and everybody else is just like working against, not against me, but like they're just part of it. What if I'm actually the only person that's alive and everybody else is an NPC? Right, that's like kind of the thoughts. I've had that since a kid. <laughs> yeah. As like in elementary school, I would think the same thing. I was like, Have you like, ever? Have, there was like this theory where like uh, every person, everybody out there is all one person. It's all one person. It's you're just going through different tests. So mm. you live the life of every single human being that's alive, in time, space, and doesn't matter. Yeah, you are learning. Yeah, you're, you're learning like on the go and through through every single situation, and you're all one person. You just like ev like you go back to the being that I don't know that's running you through the test or that's teaching you. I don't know. But anyways, that it was like Seems this like, little thing that I saw. Yeah. But yeah, so you know, it's so you my believe world. in aliens? Yeah, like do you think there's. A good possibility at the real. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, I would be surprised, but like, it, like, like. Well, yeah, there's obviously there. many people that say they've seen certain creatures, like ranging from people, government officials, like scientists that studied alien technologies, and then also there's just random Joes off the side of the road that have been like abducted by aliens, you know, and have their own stories. Yeah, I was actually abducted. Not yeah, by an alien, though. Did you... <sighs> did they play with you? <laughs> no. Because a lot of the aliens play with their victims. <laughs> yeah, I know. They, like, put, like, what the do you mean you've been lights. You know, I've been abduct abducted. It was actually not even me. It was, like, you know, just... Are you talking about... I don't about... even know, to be honest. I'm yeah, just kidding. Yeah, I think I'm just making this stuff up. But anyways, yeah. Uh, dude, I was just like making up a story. Me my story. Come on. I, dude, I was trying to get some attention like those guys were, you know. You know, they, they you know, want some attention. The people that were so abducted? They, yeah, they just want some attention. You don't think that's so real, huh? Abducted. No, I don't think so. 
Well, I well, mean, like, some of them might be real, but most of them probably. The thing <laughs> is, probably crazy. the people that were abducted, they said that they've had, like, the aliens would either rape them in a way or just, like, take samples, like sperm samples or something like that. Like, the guys would say they would do that. And in that case, they come back saying, um, I believe that there is, like, half human, half alien people that are living amongst us. I'm actually like an alien. Humans. Huh? I'm actually an alien. Dude, like, I don't know. They People say that. And there was even a story about, like, this whack woman that said that it was, like, maybe in the 70s or 80s. She said that she had, like, a relationship with one of the aliens. He would come down, like, visit her. She would go up with him and, like, go on the adventures and something like that. Smoking too much DMT, probably. But she said that she ended up getting pregnant by this alien guy. That's crazy. And she had a kid with the alien. Did they check his blood? No, or, the, or the, the kid. Blood? They took the kid. Like, the alien Oh, guy. okay. Right, so like that's why no you evidence. can't even trust that. Yeah, the alien guy yeah. took him because he said that he wanted him the the baby boy or whatever to experience a life on that planet and like learn their practices and stuff like that. Mm, that's crazy. So, she's definitely on drugs, but you never know. Who knows? They might yeah. be real. Maybe she needs some more attention from her mom. Well, she was already an old lady. <laughs> yeah, maybe she didn't get enough attention. Yeah. So you don't think there's hybrid humans living amongst us? Oh, who knows? Yeah, I just I just a... think they want some more attention. I don't know. <laughs> why Why would you tell the story? Why, why are you trying to Why are you trying to snitch? Come on. What do you mean snitch? Why are you she snitching? She misses her kid. Why are you snitching though? What, what are you talking about snitching? <laughs> They're snitching on the aliens. Come on. Why? Why? <laughs> you're just pulling my leg around. I don't know what you're a little doing. bit, yes, a little but bit. But there's obviously many stories about the abductions and people like describe aliens like the, they have different um descriptions of certain aliens like there's people that describe the same exact ones so there's an alien species that are called the nordic aliens and the reason they're called this like do you know the nordic people like nordic they're like what so no, anyway explain, the nordic, explain, it, explain it the nordic people they are uh Tall, blonde, blue okay. eyes, okay. and they're like. So I'm gonna check exactly where the Nordic countries are. Is that I can't. Is that like uh, uh, Scandinavia? So, yeah, Scandinavian and Ger yeah. Germany and stuff like that. That's the Nordic race. Yeah. So there's a species of aliens that are exactly like that. So people describe them as being tall, blue eyes, and very similar features to humans. And they say they come down to here on Earth and they're able to like interact with us and stuff and we will never know. Like that's one of the species that was described by the abduct like abducted victims. Another one was obviously like the normal like green aliens that we see in movies. Uh huh. That's another kind of like description of them. But like I was researching, there's literally a whole entire um table of like different uh, aliens and like their description of their characteristic characteristics and stuff, but dude, I don't know. There's a bunch of and there's a bunch of different reports of it of the same exact type of descriptions. Maybe we're just all aliens. It's different type of species. I mean, they don't know. Well, like Nordic, yeah. Like let, let's say, like so you, you think said, Nordic. races are different alien species. Could be. Huh. Could be because Nordic. Let's say the Nordic people like. They, like, the species came down, and we were able to breed. Uh -huh. uh, like, it was sort of bred. But who knows what kind of humans were here before. Right. Actually, that brings up our old, what's it called? The other one about human, um, how people advanced as, as a humanity. Okay, yeah. Yeah. There was, in the Bible, have you heard of the Watchers? No. So there's certain, uh passages in like the old testament and there was a book called enoch that was kind of removed from the bible like oh, it was yeah. it was supposed to be in the bible yeah, but it never put in there that. and they were uh descriptions of like walk watchers which were sent uh -huh. down here by god 
to like, kind of like look over the people and there's like hieroglyphics of even like Egyptian civilizations that have like snake like alien people down here and the way they were considered to be like half god and half man and um they resembled a reptilian like, snake like build so they had like long faces and stuff and they would help um advanced civilizations pretty much like these aliens uh-huh. and i was watching a biblical documentary recently and they called these creatures the Anun- anunnaki like that was the aliens have you heard of that yeah and i have the anunnaki they were saying that they were the same thing as the watchers from the bible so they were kind of like devil's minions or something in a way like that's how this documentary described it from like the history channel that's what it dude was. i watched so many stuff i watched the anunnaki i know what the anunnaki mm-hmm. i think they're from saturn right I don't know. Exactly Saturn or Jupiter. From. They're from one of those uh, Eti. Uh, where, where they came down here, they advanced. They were like uh, the gods yeah. of this place. They used humans as slaves. Um, right. Stuff like, there's like so that. so many they different like, theories or stories about that. Yeah. But like yeah. this, this like, um, documentary that related it to being the Watcher from the Bible, which was interesting. And they said that they were like the... Like, you know how God sent down all the angels and stuff uh-huh. when the war happened up there? He said that, like, they were saying that, like, these watchers were kind of like these, like, fallen angels and stuff. Uh-huh. And they were helping humanity advance. So, I don't know. It's it's kind of confusing. It's obviously a very it, 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 like It's sick theory. to think about. Like, it's yeah. cool to think about, like... Like imagine if everything was just like a space type of thing where, where everything was connected. Mm-hmm. Like you think about everything like in history, everything you think of being connected, but, but it's also like a little like out there because people were just had so much time on their hands they could have made up anything. Yeah, like all this alien talk and everything. It's it's yeah. fun to, th- obviously like, talk about it and speculate that it's true. But there's no, like no real evidence, at least to the public, yet. Yeah, there's there's just nothing like solid to stand on. Obviously, like the government has released like some files and said that they've experienced um, UFO activity or like in the Middle East. That, yeah, yeah, activity that wasn't specifically from humans. The like, uh-huh. they don't know, but they haven't released any like species of aliens or any alien technology that they found. They've yeah. only like said that there might be aliens, which is kind of disappointing. It is disappointing, but when when do you uh, do you really expect the government to tell you the truth? To be honest, I would I would like to know the truth. <sighs> well, do you expect them to tell you the truth? Most likely not. They never exactly. tell the truth. Exactly. Exactly. So there are aliens. I'm actually one of them, and um, I'm here to help. And you're doing nothing to help. Oh, you're letting no. a human be better than you. It's actually... Ha! Huh. <laughs> what do you mean, ha? Huh? What do you mean a human be better than you? Me? I'm mean? a human. You're, I'm better you're than a human? You. You're better than me? Uh-huh. I wouldn't say so. You I, I, I so? You're, you're, just, you're an NPC. You're in my world. What are you talking about? Okay. All right, let's end off of this uh, childish talk. <laughs> so, honestly, you want to end off the podcast? I think it's pretty... <laughs> Yo, I, dude, that, that was, I don't know what I was even saying half the time about, about me being an alien. To yeah, be bro, honest, I, I actually am an alien, but whatever. Okay, whatever. Of course, I am, of course. <laughs> okay. you know, I can be whatever I want to be, right? Well, we're, we're done with this alien talk. <laughs> End the podcast. All right. All um, right. Thanks for End watching, podcast. guys. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching, listening. If you enjoy this podcast, make sure to like, subscribe, share it to all your boys, all your neighbors, so we can grow big and strong. Huge community. Subscribe. Heart. Uh, like say? and subscribe. Uh, like and subscribe. <laughs> like Anyways. and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> See you guys next time. Peace. See you guys next time.